Hey guys, I'm Mike Helper. This is a video showing you guys how you can get the Pebble, was it the Pebble Time timeline on your original Pebble. This is just a Pebble Classic, but I put a custom band on it. So let's get right to it. Alright, I hope you like that intro, it's new, please excuse the lack of videos, I haven't made a video in like three weeks. The excuse for that is school, I think I've used that excuse before. But since winter break is, I keep snapping, since winter break is coming up, I'll be trying to upload as many videos as possible, and yeah. So I got this custom band uh, for Hanukkah, if you would like me to show you guys how you can, how to install custom bands on the pedal. Um, it does not work on the Pebble Steel, and I don't think it works on the Pebble Time. Um, I'd love to. It's a very simple process. Um, you can, like, change... Whatever, it'll be a separate video if you... if you Comment down below if you'd like to see that. But yes, this is on an update for the Pebble that gives you the Pebble Timeline that is brought in the Pebble Time app. So, uh, what you need to do, uh, basically, it's an update for the Pebble. But you don't like go into the Pebble app update and like, that doesn't exist. You have to actually go to the Pebble Time app. You have to disconnect it from the normal Pebble app, which you would go into settings. I'm not gonna do it because I just did it earlier. Settings Bluetooth and you would hit the I and then you would hit disconnect and then you would go open up go to the app store. Uh, download the Pebble Time app, link down below. Uh, oh, I forgot to say, if you want to see my unboxing and pull tests of this watch, uh, check out over here. Sorry, I just uh, got a little, uh, I just want to do this. Because this is my first, I don't know if you can go back to the original Pebble um, like interface, but yeah. So, you open up the Pebble Time, you have to sign in. I already did that. And ask what pebble you have. I have the original pebble. Continue. I want to use English. Uh, checking for updates. And then uh, you're all set. Was that you're all set to run the new pebble OS equipped with timeline? Yeah, there's timeline and a bunch of other awesome pebble features. Uh, you can have, click update my pebble or get pebble legacy, which I'm assuming this is pebble legacy. Oh yeah, I also forgot how you uh, turn it, d d disconnect Bluetooth with your phone on here. You go to Bluetooth, you go to wherever settings is, I rearrange the icons. Go to settings, Bluetooth, sorry the screen's all smudgy, it's a really scratched up phone. Uh, watch, really scratched up watch. Then you go to iPhone 5S, click on it, and then you click forget. I'm not going to do that because I connected it using this. I will click on update my pebble. App is currently English only. Don't worry, your watch still supports English, French, Spanish, and German. Oh, waiting for uninstall. Oh, I need to uninstall the old app. I like just heard about this a couple hours ago. It was released maybe around two days ago. Continue. Uh, continue. I have a lot of charge on here. If my pebble breaks during this, I'm going to be mad. Alrighty, so. I will just. Loading now. It is reconnecting. Alrighty, 
now the download or as I download or install is about to begin. I will time lapse through this of course. It might be slow, it looks like it's kind of fast ish, kind of fast. Time lapse begins now. Alright, I am back. Uh, so the pebble, let's go to the iPhone. Alright, set language. Enable notifications on the watch. Uh, enable. There we go. I click a little check mark and click pair, which is, you can't see it, but it's there. Quit access. Animation. I haven't seen these because I don't have the pebble time. Uh, uh, oh. Okay. Cool. I can I can run all the apps that I have uh, in my Pebble account on my Pebble, which is going to be annoying. I'm going to have to install a lot of apps because it used to be you could only install eight apps or watch faces. Now you can install however many of whatever the heck you want, which I think is really cool, and they should have just done this from the beginning. Okay. Grant access. Allow. Grant access. Okay. Done. Alrighty. I'm going to be going through these, deleting, I'm gonna, I need to zoom out. So you can see the entire thing. So this is the uh, apps and timeline. I'm going to go through this, delete all the apps here that I do not need, which are quite a few of them. And then watch faces, I will do the same with that. Uh, yeah, so it's really cool. Um, that was epic how it stands up like that. I've been, I've been needing to, wanting to, God damn, I've been wanting to do that since the beginning of this video. Whatever. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure uh, it won't it won't stay. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll subscribe because in a mm, couple days, sometime over winter break, I'll make a review on the Pebble timeline running on the original Pebble. How it is, if it's slow, and yeah, I would say I would compare it to Pebble Time, but I don't have a Pebble Time, and I don't really know anyone who does. So yeah, but anyway. Uh, it's really cool that now I can run old, or you can run new firmware on an old device. I love when this happens. I'm pretty sure Apple did it with my old MacBook, the 2008 MacBook. They were like gonna stop running uh, Mavericks on it, but then they updated it to Yosemite. Sorry, getting off topic. But yes, I'm very excited. You can't see my excitement. You can't hear my excitement. You can't see it. It's all inside. But it's just so cool how now I can install and run Pebble Timeline on my Pebble Classic. So yes, if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe as I already said. That's my third time saying that. Uh, make sure to like. Um, that'll just give me an idea that like you want more Pebble videos. Uh, what else? Uh, I would say check out my Twitter. Yeah, we'll do so anyway. Follow me on Twitter. I try and post technology stuff. I have school, and my data plan is a family data plan. I don't like to use it when I don't need to. So, yeah, I think over winter I will post on Twitter. I don't really use it that much, but just follow me there. Uh, it'll show support of the channel. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a great day. Bye.
Savannah. We'll never be in love, Savannah.